All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 11 for today. In the last three episodes, we had some toxic teammates, but hopefully this episode ends that streak. We'll have to see. Now, we did end up at Champ 3 Division 4, so we're just on the cusp of Grand Champ, the final set of ranks before SSL. These games are going to start getting tougher, but I'm ready for the grind and hope you guys are too. And speaking of the grind, if rank feels like it's getting stale, you can spice things up with a new way to compete in Rocket League called Repeat.gg, today's sponsor. The way it works is unique and doesn't require any additional downloads. You earn points which can earn you real money. But instead of playing directly against other participants, you earn points on your own while you play ranked, which you're probably already doing. And since your score is based off of your individual games, your rank doesn't matter. Points are awarded for everything you do in a match, with wins being worth the most. The more points you earn, the better chance you have to win some real cash. Repeat.gg has $25,000 prize pools for Rocket League alone each month. And like I said, it doesn't require downloading any additional software. Just link your Rocket League account and start racking up points. There's a tournament to play in all the time, so go check it out before the next time you play ranked. If you want to try it out for yourself, click the link in the description, sign up, and start competing. Thanks again to Repeat for sponsoring this video, now let's get back into the games. Now of course before we jump into the games, we have one last thing to do. We have the meme comment of the day, and that is Sungus Khan by Beakmaster. This one's quite an interesting one, let's see what we can do with it. Once again, a pretty simple concept, we have Genghis Khan here. Obviously this is a portrayal of him, not actually Genghis Khan, but it'll work. And we've got Sunless Khan here in a photo, and I, I picked one that was similar in blurriness. I think, I think it'll work out. All I have to do is just mix him in here underneath the hat, and uh, it should look very pretty. All right, now to get his beard uh, lined up. Maybe his eyes lined up? <laughs> I don't think they had glasses like this in the past, but I'm going to flip him around, actually, so he matches with his ear. That's looking pretty good. Maybe I should do, like, low, low opacity so I can see what I'm doing. Just mix it in there. I don't know what's happening. Let me back that up. I'm questioning everything as I go here. It needs some work. It definitely needs some work. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like this. Let me just keep his mustache and, and glasses. And let's see if this will work. If I just blend them in with the background. So I need a bit of uh, green to the, te the color. Hue saturation. Let's do a bit of a hue change until it's close. I mean... <laughs> Not great so far. I gotta do a bit of bit more work here, I think. Can you even tell this is sunless anymore? I really don't know. I mean, you definitely <laughs> you could definitely see the eyes, but I've basically removed all of the features of sunless entirely. <laughs> okay, sure. This is Sungus Khan. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, definitely a difficult one, more than I thought actually, but I think it turned out okay. Not my proudest work, but it'll do. All right, game number one, we got Peter on our team against Slice and Create Quads. So that goes. I'm going to go back left here, see what happens. It's a good shot. Nice touch from my teammate. Really good control. That's a decent first pop. Might get off the backboard here, but Slice has it. I'm going to go for this early. Just sort of bump him a little bit. I might go for a shot. I'm going to stay close. So my teammate did take the ball from me, but I do have space still. Good save. Let me tell you what it does with this. Okay, they end up popping it to me. So I'm just going to pop this up the sidewall here and then follow it up. And then the guy ends up challenging so far. So far, I've noticed that um, people are challenging very, very aggressively. So I'm just going to wait for this. Got some space. Go for a flick. It's over two. Got to start being a little more creative with my, my attacks if we want to get some scoring opportunities. Okay, so that ended up being a failed pass. Early challenges once again. So when I see that players are being more aggressive with early challenges, I need to start playing more spaced out. Uh, stay further away from the ball when they go for attacks. Oh, that's awkward, but we should be able to pop it up. Good fall for my teammate. Going to probably clear it out. He ends up missing, but this guy clears it out to me instead. So I'm just going to boom this back in. This guy's pretty low boost. Let's see what he does. Ends up not being able to save it. So... A little bit awkward there from him once I get the boom back. Uh, I can see Quads is trying to, ch once again, challenge me very early. and ends up going for the bump on me, uh, which is pretty good to get me out of the game because I do boom it away. Now, if I wanted to add more uh, variety and mechanics into it, I could have turned on that ball and went for a follow-up on the like an air dribble or something. Now, I really should challenge this for my teammate as soon as possible. So right there, but ends up going right to slice. I'm going to bump this guy into the, the back corner. Got some space. Once again, I'm just going to pass this back to my teammate. It's a really good shot. A really good finish. Well played. Oh gosh. 
He asked if it was me. I'm not going to say anything. Cool. So that 50 50 wasn't very strong from my teammate. Ends up booming off of his car. That goes back a little bit to our discussion about, like, even, like, kickoff 50 50s and stuff. About, like, the angles of the. Oh my gosh, there's an angle there. Um, I could go for this immediately. Instead of going for the back corner boost, I can go for the touch if I want to. It's not always going to be working out because my teammate's back for, uh, from the demo, but we have some space here. This is off the backboard, so I actually can just leave this. It's a bit awkward, but we can make a play out of it. There we go. Now I can push this up on this. Pass around. It's not really a great play. It's too close for a pass. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bite on those if uh, your teammate makes a touch like that. They could pop around, but Peter should be there. Nice touch. So this is a play that I should really go up for and go for a shot. I'm going to pop it off the backboard instead, but definitely on target would be the best play because it doesn't give them an opportunity to really clear the ball properly. They have to make a good touch. Once again, this is an opportunity where I should go for a, an aerial, go for a shot. Good save, though. So players are getting really good at going off the wall and, and getting those like pre-flipper. Oh, this is an awkward play here. Once again, just playing it slow. Really good on my teammate to follow that up. I can stay with this and make a pop off the wall to stay with it close. Pop it up nice and high. Let's see what they do with this. Avoiding the demo. My teammate wants it. But not nothing nothing like created from that. I guess you can see. Oh, he, well, he gets a good challenge on the second part here. As he booms it down the field. I was ready for that potential boom. No way for the touch off the side. Just pop it up. Let's see what Quaza does with this. Just positioning away from where the 50-50 the could go wrong. It ends up going really well for us. So I'm going to watch out for the demo. I was going to say watch out for the demo because that guy was going to turn on me very early. But I got 40 boosts. Oh, I thought my teammate had that. A little scary, but I ended up going for the touch anyway. 50. Good play. Do my teammate can push on this. Probably going to be Slice's touch, but now I can cut this off early. And there we go. Down the field. Both players. A decent try. I mean, I, I definitely saw the, the vision of the double tap, but he ended up missing the mark a little bit. And then my teammate gets a free goal. So far, I've just been positioning uh, a little bit more uh, ready for big booms. As you can see, players are are definitely more ready to the, get those big clears and, and keep the ball closer, but still not a big amount of control from the players. Uh, <laughs> uh, <Sungus> Khan. <laughs> uh, but still not a lot of control. I mean, we're into the high ranks of... Uh, of champ three here and uh people are definitely going to be getting mechanics more and more uh but i really think that it's going to come down to the fact that decision making is still not quite up to par uh compared to the upper ranks but that's that's definitely expected because players who are at the highest ranks like they have a ton of hours in the game this guy could probably go for another touch here so be careful now i'm going to stay in front of this that way if this guy goes for the challenge it's a free clear this guy ends up missing. We end up getting Peter on my team again, so did like how he played. He's gonna have this ball for free. I could probably stay with it, but it's not really worth it. Go for a challenge. See what this guy does. Pop it. So that, that that little chip pop, I also could go for a bump right there. That little chip pop is really, really good. It's a really good uh double take. Go for a touch here, see what happens. Oh, we end up just leaving it. A little unorthodox. Um, that little, like, uh, drive left and then drive right and then pop is going to be really good uh, to throw off the opponents. Go for a pop off the backboard. Once again, avoiding the bumps. Should be my teammate now. He does pop it up as well, but it's going to be to them on the backboard, which is totally fine. All right, so I'm going to stay close to this. There we go. See what a uh, holy cow does. So he does get a touch, but it's going to be in front of the net. And I see that my team is going to beat, get beat. So I'm just waiting for the next touch. Interesting try on the follow-up. Oh, I did not expect him to go for the demo. That's really smart. It might be open, actually. I didn't expect him to actually go up forward like that when the guy was getting a clear. I was just kind of watching the other player. But a really good play from Rivka to go for me at the back end. So that's like definitely something you could do. I mean, if you're more aware, I'm trying to I'm trying to commentate on what's happening with the ball. That's really really bad for me not to like focus on the player in front of me. But either way, um, definitely a decent option to go for a demo there. But um, 
it's not going to always work out. This guy's going as last man. Really aggressive challenges from both of them. So you can see I'm just trying to stay close and be annoying. This could work out for my team. My teammate's not going, so I got to go for another touch. I get a bump here. Teammate's defaulting to net. Which I wouldn't su suggest is a good idea in situations where you're like under pressure like that. Oh, I end up missing this. Not, not, the great touch, not the greatest touch in the world. My teammate is panicking. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. <laughs> We're good though. Good challenge. I'll pop off the side, the backboard. I end up getting bumped by my teammate, which is okay. I'm going to go for a bump here on this guy. There we go. Shoot my teammate for free. Okay, he's still backwards. I'll go for it again. I touch the backboard. Doesn't need to panic. Though. There's no one there. Oh. A good shot and a good follow up off the backboard and there's a finish so i'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit um because my teammate was playing a little slow on that um he did pop it up nicely for me though so i'm just gonna go for a clear and then off the backboard i'm, I'm gonna play this a little bit carefully because i'm not really sure how the 50 50 is gonna go get a touch off the corner he does get a touch here to my teammate nice Let's see what happens oh I can see that they're they're patiently waiting on the back end, but they both try to go for it. This is where it could be dangerous for them if, if my teammate goes for a good shot. Doesn't quite get the shot that he needs, but this guy gives me a free open net because he ends up clearing it to me off of the backboard uh, touch. So this touch right here was a little bit weak it, to the point where um, Holy Cow could have boomed that, but he ended up panicking because the shot was coming at him and he jumped before, but not the end of the world. I'm going to grab a few boost pads. You can see I, I can get up to 40 here. I gotta be careful of the bump. I was actually just gonna say that, and he ended up coming at me. But this guy missed. Peter's trying to keep it close. Off the corner. He'll be risk of clearing it. So everyone's really, really ready on defense to go for those clears and stuff. Um, but nothing uh, too threatening. This could be a good air dribble. Really good play there. So they're nothing really threatening on the net over there, and they were ready for the clear. So I knew I couldn't go. But this guy went for the follow up on the air dribble, and I definitely should have just attacked that earlier. Once again, it's a situation where I'm. Trying not to just like bite on the, you know, every opportunity I see to just open, you know, open net. But we're, we're, uh, we're doing our best to mimic the rank and I don't, I think it's, we're doing okay because it is two to two. A decent 50, 50, but Rivka's got a, got a play here. Ends up throwing it to me. I'm just going to pop it over. That is their last man jumping out for that. He's not making the best touches. Good 50. My teammate's staying with it, so that's a little hook there. Oh! So, leaving the net open like that is going to be a little dangerous, the way that he, uh, like, wrapped around the ball and didn't uh, keep himself present. A really good challenge there. Big clear. Get the I'm going to grab all this boost now, because he ended up going for that push. And now he's going to be very low. So, big fakes. No one's on the backboard, so I'm just going to pop off the backboard, see if he misses. Go for a shot. Good save from Rivka. And wait for the big clear. Once again, I'm trying to read this early. Because that way I can get close to it. So I'm just trying to read the bounce. I can stay close to this ball. Pass this middle. My teammate's not quite ready for it, but... This could be in our net. I think it is. Unfortunately, my teammate tried to go for it really late, and he couldn't get the chip over. So unfortunately, we can't... Uh, couldn't get it around there. Really weak sided on that play, and Rivka's just way, playing way faster than him. So, unfortunately, uh, I, what is he saying? As both players, big clear. Oh, big miss. All right, here we go. Can I get it? Oh, I couldn't get it. I did the double tap, but it was unfortunately on the floor. Good demo for my teammate, but really good game there. Let's move on to the next one. So unfortunately, it's just a, re it's a reality of Rocket League that you could play a really good game, a really solid game, but it might not work out with your teammates, which is all right. You know, once again, I'm also not trying to just outshine my teammate or the opponents or whatever. So I'm just playing it pretty, uh, pretty calm champ game here. I'm going to turn it early on this because this guy's staying close to the ball. And now this ball should be free for my teammate off the corner, which is good. I could go for this. It's a little dangerous, but we do go for the challenge. Good turn for my teammate as well. This ball, ball should spill to mid after this touch. So I can do a quick turnaround. 
and good challenge from uh, PK as a dog there. So they're on top of things. They clear. I can go for the cut. Both of them are up. So I'm just going to go towards target and it should just roll in nice and oh, off the corner. Nice finish. There we go. So I saw that the ball was in a free spot. I just go for a early chip and uh, it is open for my teammate. But yeah, I'm trying to play this like in a way that is not uh, super uncomfortable for anyone in the lobby and uh, and just put myself in good positions to my, help my support my teammate. Once again, I'm going for a shot. It's not the greatest shot ever, but my teammate does follow it up. Uh, Dog was a little bit confused on the, the back end there and we'll take advantage. I ended up leaving that boost for them though. He's a little confused. My goodness. Oh, close. Now, I could go out for this if I want to. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to. That's a really good shot. Really good try, good try on the save. Now, the best way to prevent that from happening is to jump off the corner. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be doing that right now. I would have went off the wall right there to follow that up. and be. A, but it would have been probably a little bit too fast. As you can see, nobody. I haven't seen anybody else do that yet. So It's so weird. I probably should just do that, though, so you know how to like defend it. But I don't, I don't want to just overtake the game here. There's a shot. So that's the kind of stuff where you can sit in mid, ready for the pass. Um, ready for what my teammate's going to pop. He really popped it a little bit too shallow, though, right towards the net. I just go for the clear uh, anyway. Because either that or they go for a clear down the field, and I have to back off. Oh. I'll go for this immediately. My teammate, the, the opponent's behind me. I can go for a dribble. He's going to chip it around me. It's fine. That's a good shot. It's a little bit off, though. It's down the field. Okay, no, no teammate to pass to, so instead I'm just going to keep it close. A really good demo from uh, the back end there. Oh, really good chip there. That's the kind of chip I was talking about, by the way. And just once again, I just not expect a, a champ three to do that, but that's a really good play for him to slow that down. Looked like he was going to go for the shot right away, but he ended up dribbling it and keeping it close. Very smart play. So you got to watch out for that uh, PK, PKS, PKS guy. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If he tries to do another dribble in the future, you got, I have to unknow that he's going to have the opportunity to do that. Let's see what, uh, cock, what's his name? Cor Cor I almost called him something else. Corx. See what he does. Big flicks. I think I got a touch there. It was kind of weird. I skimmed it a little bit. This guy likes to dribble. Once again, just positioning for a potential uh, clear. Wherever he's going to pop the ball. Great finish for my teammate as well. So yeah, once again, that's just a situation where I'm waiting in midfield to see what he does. If he had more mechanics, he would go for an air dribble there and I had to go for like some sort of pre-jump play, but uh, he just dropped the ball in front of me, so I'm going to stay close here. Now, this is open. I'm just going to flick it towards that and see what they do. Oh, I got scared of my teammate. There we go. I think my teammate's just waiting patiently in mid. Decent try. I can clear this off the corner in a way that I can follow it up. See, I can sit with this ball and, and follow it up. I could have just went for the immediate shot there, but I was 20 boost, so I'm just trying to play it safe. We're up two goals. This guy's panicking. I'm not even close to the ball, so he's just like going for an early challenge there. We end up chipping over the other one, and we get the win. So definitely an interesting episode. Uh, <laughs> we're actually still ch champion three division four. You know what? I think we got to play another one. All right, for the last game, we got Sting Inverted and Nova. Hopefully, oh no, he knows who I am. Oh no. Good flick to my teammate. Good save. Um, I didn't even finish saying who they were, but that's a really good play down the field. A really good clear for my teammate. It's over, um, over uh, Nova, I think it was. Yeah. So once I saw that, I just went for the, the play down the field. Great pass. I'm going to go for a cheat a little bit. See what happens. I got some space on the ball. He's going to go for an immediate cheat. I got to jump up for this right away or else um, that guy could challenge. Ends up going for the touch. He ends up missing it off the backboard. Okay, my teammate's not going, so I'm just going to go for it and try and bump this guy. Boost in the, is up in the back corner. My teammate ends up leaving it for me, so I'm just going to grab it. 
Do they do with this? So not, not the most uh, available play there. I'm just going to wait for my teammates staying on it, so I'm just going to back off. He does here. Now I have some space in the corner. I'm just going to stay close. Bump this guy as well. I'm very low, though, so this could be dangerous. Back left, see what happens with the shot. And a great shot on the bottom left there. I mean, I haven't really done too much this game so far. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not overcrowding my teammate because Pether has been uh, on the ball quite a bit on plays where I could have taken over when he was low, but he's making good control here. I'm just going to go for a challenge when I can. Once again, it's like green light in my head that's going off, and I'm like, okay, I can go for the shot. I'm going to go for the save here off to the side. Teammate also jump for it. I'm finding it very difficult to get in position where I can go for a ball and my teammates also not going for. So been a bit a bit of an awkward game, but I'm just gonna wait behind here, see what he does. Nice play. Good try on the chip. We oh, end up missing. Smart from him. I say smart from him, I don't think he meant to miss that. But I got some space on the side here. I can just shoot this towards target. See if he can save it. Good save. Good fake. Now this is dangerous. Nova can follow this up. Even if he's low here, he might pinch it or something. That is actually not a good touch because it goes right back to Sting instead. But we're going to wait here and see what happens. Ends up missing the touch. No problem. I can go for a touch here off the backboard. I'm just going to pop it around. I could definitely air roll that and just keep that close. Once again, I can keep this close and safe in the corner if I want to make it so it's not dangerous. Uh for our team. I was going to go for that touch, but once again, I think that's like I'm being too aggressive too fast. We can stay close here. Uh, good save. It was definitely open. I could have just shot that. I, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to like find times where I'm like uh, not playing overly aggressive and taking those opportunities when I, you know, I'm supporting my teammate, but I keep making little outplays that I probably shouldn't be. This is going to be a good opportunity for Sting here. Wait in the, I go for the backboard early. If he gets an opportunity to uh, get that read off the backboard, it's going to be tough for uh, us to save it. Good try. All right, I'm just waiting in, in the corner here. I can clear this across the net. And I'm going to get my boost stolen here, but we can go for the early challenge. And follow it up here. Get aggressive. I feel like the biggest thing that I've not done enough of is playing aggressive. Uh, I feel like I'm playing a little too passive a lot of the times. Really good passing play. Really good finish. I'm going to I'm gonna definitely go for that shot because uh, it's a really good play to pop that lightly in mid instead of trying to go for the play himself. Actually, I think he was trying to. <laughs> Never mind. Well, it was a good play for him to pop that up. I was there. Let's see what happens here. So now I have some space on the side. Now this is opportunities where you can use what you've practiced to go for air dribbles and flip resets and go for some sort of play. A little bit of a wave dash. Definitely picked it up a little bit off that play, but it's not. I didn't do much. I was going to go for a flip reset into the like the top corner, but I brought it down instead. And I think it faked them a little bit. But that's where like those, those opportunities where it's rolling nicely up the wall is where you can utilize that practice that you've had in free play to go for some sort of uh, mechanical play. You know. Like this. Ooh. Towards the net. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Nice. I thought the boost was there. I actually didn't even notice I didn't pick it up. So Sting ended up missing that ball. I was going to back off corner. He needs to try and support his teammate or else they're going to be in a situation where... See how they're both in a position where they uh, are cutting themselves off? One of these needs. One of these players needs to move up. I think Nova was in a position where he needs to... And then he went for like a squishy save, but he definitely could have just pushed up on that and let Sting go back with the back corner boost. Uh... <laughs> well, that's going to be GC1 finally. So it was just one more game we needed. Hello, YouTube. Indeed. Well, we made it into Grand Champion 1. That's what I wanted for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. Like I said, until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.